Round one of the 2018 Australian Men's Interstate Teams Matches. This year's event being held in Adelaide, with the Grange Golf Club East providing a worthy test. In his first series for Queensland, it was Dylan Gardner who got things underway on a chilly morning. In the number five match, Andrew Phillips for Tasmania is playing in his ninth consecutive interstate series. But he came up against red hot Queenslander Doug Klein, who showed that he was great into the greens. He was great around the greens. And he was great on the greens. Klein putting first points on the board for Queensland with a big six and five win. In the number six match, 16-year-old Ryan Thomas is making his debut for Tasmania this year. He was up against 18-year-old Queenslander Jed Morgan, who took the lead on the opening hole and never trailed in putting together a three and two margin of victory. Mark Schulz is playing his 15th series for Tasmania and he was part of the first match out against Queensland's Dylan Gardner. The lead went back and forth with Gardner squaring things up on the 17th but both players parred the 18th, so the points were shared with a hard result. Queenslander Laurie Flynn is back for another series and he featured in the number four game. Flynn led one up at the turn, but Tasmanian Paul Reed saved his best golf for the back nine. Reed took the match on the 17th with a two and one win. Charlie Dan is playing his third straight series for Queensland and he took the lead on the opening hole of his match against Tasmania's Mitch Van Nood. Some of the Queenslanders have been having troubles on the greens, but that wasn't the case for Dan. He holds several nice putts en route to a two and one victory. So that's three and a half points for Queensland, which is good enough for a tie, but could they find one more point from the remaining two matches? Shea Wolves Cobb playing his fourth series for the Queensland men's team and he jumped out to a quick three up lead in the number one match against Tasmania's Craig Hancock. Hancock drew level though with this amazing approach shot to the 11th hole and he'd pull away to take a two and one win. One final match, former New South Welshman Dylan Perry is wearing Queensland colours for the first time this year having moved up north to the Sanctuary Cove Golf Club. He was part of the number three game against Tasmania's Nathan Gayhouse. This was perhaps the tightest of all the matches, the margin never more than one shot either way as they made their way to the 18th tee. The Queenslanders looking on, Perry missed his birdie putt on the last and that meant Gatehouse was a two up winner. The overall contest, a tie, three and a half points each between Queensland and Tasmania.